choose the right food that supports your digestive system to help you live a healthy life. Hi everyone, I am Adnan Mizar Sumarmat. I would like here to present the online course of Atlantic International University about healthy life. In this lesson seven, I would like to present the digestive system and the liver. The digestive system is very complicated because people need to eat around 2.8 kilogram of food a day. That makes more than 30,000 kilograms in life. This food has to be transferred through the digestive system to substances that can be used and storage as an energy in the body. There are 10 organs that regulate digestion in the human body. They cover 9 meters and have more than 20 types of cells, which are responsible for more than 500 duties in the human body. The digestive system consists of four main parts. The first one, gastrointestinal tract, a slowing ring that transports your food and has 30 to 40 square meters with an inner surface. The second, liver, pancreas, and gallbladder. A trio of organs which break down food with variety of specific juices. The third one, enzymes, hormones, nerves, and blood of the body all work together to break down food, modulate the digestive process, distributing its final products. And the fourth, mesentery, a large stretch of tissue that protect and positions all of the digestive organs in the abdomen so that they are doing their job. The aim is to extract energy from nutrients in order to secure continuous of the life. The digestion begins before the food comes in the mouth. When straightening and seeing the food, the three paired major salivary glands, parotide, submandibular, and sublingual, will produce their digestion salvia, about one and a half liter per day. By chewing, the food is partly broken up and finally ground. The enzymes like amylase, starch, complex carbohydrates, breaks down into sugar that your body can absorb more easily. Salivia also contains an enzyme called lingual lipase that breaks down fats through involuntary muscle contractions called peristalsis. The food goes through the 25 centimeter esophagus in the stomach. In tension, the stomach has three main functions. Temporarily storing food that enters the stomach from the esophagus and is kept there for two to three hours or more, mixing and breaking down of food through contraction and relaxation of the layers of the stomach muscles. Pepsin is the main digestive enzyme that targets proteins in the stomach.
There are three main kinds of enzymes that work effectively to break down food. The first one is proteases, break down protein into small peptides and amino acids. Protease, also known as peptidase or proteinase, is an enzyme that catalyzes increases proteolases, breaking up proteins into smaller polypeptides or single amino acids. We do so by hydrolysis, a reaction in which water splits bonds, cleaving the peptide bonds within proteins. The second one is lipases, break down fat into three fatty acids plus a glycerol molecule. Lipase is a fat splitting enzyme present in the blood, gastrointestinal juices, pancreatic secretions, and adipose tissues. Lipases hydrolyze triglyceride fats into the fatty acid and glycerol molecules of their components. The third one is amylases. Break down carbs like starch into simple sugars. Amylases is an enzyme that catalyzes starch hydrolysis to sugar and occurs in saliva and begins the chemical digestive cycle there. When protein molecules get into the small intestine, many other pancreatic enzymes work. Lipase develops in the pancreas and small intestine. Hormones that are secreted by cells in the lining cause the release of acids and enzymes rich juices from the stomach wall, which begin to dissolve the food and break down its proteins. In preparation for the next step, these hormones also signal the pancreas, liver, and gallbladder to produce digestive juices and release bile, a yellow, wish green liquid that digests fat. Then another one, shapely polyus, is a foamy substance called the chyme that is ready to pass into the small intestine. The liver sends bile to the gallbladder, which secretes it into the duodenum. Many people call it duodenum, but you can say that duodenum. The first part of the small intestine. The enzymes also do the final conversion of proteins to amino acids and carbohydrates to glucose. This occurs in the area that lowers the jejunum and ileum in the small intestine, which are covered with millions of tiny protrusions called villi. These from an enormous surface to optimize the absorption and movement of molecules into the bloodstream. Here, the fats present in the chyme past are broken down so that they can be quickly digested by the pancreatic and intestinal juices that have brought them to this state. This enzyme Rich juices break down the fat molecules into fatty acids and glycerine to facilitate their absorption. The blood transfers them to feed the organs and tissues of the body. But leftover fiber, water, and dead cells that ditch during digestion enter the colon 
also known as the large intestine. The body filters through the intestinal wall from the remaining blood. What remains is a soft mass called a stool. The large intestine presses this byproduct into a pouch called a rectum. There, the nerves feel how it rises and tell the body when it is time to remove the waste. The intestinal byproducts leave the anus. Finally, I would like to present the liver as a very important organ in your body. The liver with one and a half kilograms is the biggest organ of your body and consists of two loops which have more than 500 functions. The liver holds 13 percent of the body blood at any time and comprised of eight segments which include 1000 lobulus small lobes such lobes are attached to small channels tubes that connect the growing liver duct to larger channels the common liver duct transports the bile formed by the liver cells through the common bile duct into the gallbladder and duodenum, the first part of the small intestine. The liver has two sources that supply blood. The first one, oxygenated blood, circulates in the hepatic artery. The second one, blood from the portal vein liver is rich in nutrients. The liver affects most of the blood's chemical level and excretes a bile product. This helps the liver carry away waste products. Every blood that leaves the stomach and intestine flows through the liver. The liver absorbs this blood and breaks it down, combines and produces the nutrients and metabolizes medicines even in forms that are safer to use or non-toxic to the rest of the body. Here are some duties of the liver. Bile production while helps to carry away waste and break down fats in the small intestine during digestion. Development of other blood plasma proteins. Cholesterol and special proteins are developed to bring fats through the body. Conversion of excess glucose into glycogen for storage. Glycogen is later converted back into energy glucose and for balance and for glucose production as needed. Bile production which helps to carry away waste and break down fats in the small intestine during digestion. That you support your digestive system by getting the right food that brings clean energy. Also, to keep going, to learn the basic and to find the important elements of a healthy life. With my eighth lesson that shows the function and tasks of the lungs and respiratory system. Thanks for your watching and wish you a successful learning. Yours, Adnan Mizar Sumarmad, PhD, Health Sciences, Atlantic International University. Don't forget, if you like this lesson or this video, to press like or subscribe to get my latest publications.